We're probably the only country on earth where the president has his own TV show. Did you see that episode where he got attacked by his own mask? It wasn't Netflix, it was Net Cyril. Oh, my favorite thing was that lady, that sign language lady's face. She was like, that's the face the queen makes if you say the words Meghan Markle. When is President Ramaphosa going to do question time with journalists after one of these briefings? Even Donald Trump did question time. Okay. And then he attacked journalists. It was, it was like he's the orange Ace Machule. But when will Ramaphosa answer our question? Why is our vaccination rollout so slow? Why do we still have load shedding? And what does Deputy President Didi Mabuza actually do? Didi Mabuza is like the ESCOM customer care line. He doesn't actually do anything. The only time we hear from Saul Ramaphosa is so he can tell us how much alcohol we're allowed to drink. Should change his name to Ramaphosa. He says if we can't drink, and have to get home by nine. And I'm like, okay, dad, you're taking the words father of the nation way too seriously. Calm the hell down. I've started calling him Johnny because the only time you get to talk to Sir Ramaphosa is if you catch him on one of his morning walks. See, that was a Johnny Walker joke. I asked him one morning, where are you going, Uncle Cyril? He said, I'm going nowhere. I said, exactly. He says he's acting against corruption. But he acts in the same way as Maps Mopanyane acts. Nobody is in jail. And even the people in jail are pumping like it's late night ETV. Did you see that video? They look like they took the words hardened criminal way too seriously. He was doing time and the warden locked up and knocked up on the same freaking TV show. We need leadership, President Ramaphosa. All we get right now is stages and levels. Levels of lockdown, stages of load shedding. Level one lockdown, stage two load shedding. Level three lockdown, stage four load shedding. Level one lockdown, stage five load shedding. Level two lockdown, stage four load shedding. If you put those numbers together, by the way, it's the winning lottery ticket. I'm out. <laughs>tuning on to the show welcome 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 we love you and welcome to the family so you can catch us and if you you're interested in watching some of our other episodes you can catch us on twitter mm -hmm. where i love mobile l on facebook instagram and tiktok where i love mobile dot live and our youtube channel if you miss an episode you can go there and check out some of our episodes guys we're pushing to get some more followers on youtube where i love mobile live yes and our whatsapp number is 066-013-4229 Hey! It took me such a long time to remember that number. Nah. Yeah. It took me a day. But I after one, was, yeah, after one minutes. show, you get it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But you know what? When you like take leave, or because I know like sometimes I take leave because I don't I have to go home or whatever. Yeah. When I come back, I forget the number. I get it. I'm serious. Boo. I'm serious. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> It's okay though, I ain't gonna judge It's you. okay! But anyway guys, the time now is 10, uh, 17. We're gonna go into the bum rush. Mm -hmm. Running a little behind schedule, as yeah, usual, yeah. because of the Marvel streets! Those people! Mm -mm -mm. So we're gonna check our TLs right now and see what's trending at the moment. So there's a newspaper here, yeah, and I saw this headline, and it's also trending on my TL. Okay, and that's on. Blade Man. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this old man is oh wild. Oh my. No. So here's a headline. It says Higher Education Minister Blade Nzimande has likened the nationwide fees protest at universities to a US soapy, the bold and the beautiful. Okay. What's he feeling basically? You move. You move. You move. You move. You're so serious. You're serious. You're telling me. Aye. 
bikini, guys. He said that. That's oh my wow! I can't believe it. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Yo, dude, how can you, as a serious minister of higher education, mm. compare Such. this situation to a drama like a soapy? You could never. How does that even make sense? See, or is anything trending on your tail? From comments? my side, um, question is: Does Lancaster prefer to design it over his father? So, our real housewives of Durban were playing a game, spin the bottle, right? Okay. The wives were playing a game. So, someone asked Lancaster, um, she is. I don't know if she's an ex-fiancé or she's oh, okay. still a fiancé of former president um, Jacob Zuma. But she was asked that if the designer Zuma came before I, Mr. Jacob Zuma, would you have chosen the designer? I, and she was like, no. No. And because her answer was so straight, it was so, like it was immediate. She's like, definitely no. So, I, I mean, do, 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 are you, do you think he's attractive? No, I don't find him attractive. Okay, do you think he's charming? Like, yeah, the way he could in some people. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's I mean, a clean brother. Clean, and then? Yeah, a clean. Then the letter tongue guy. Yeah, I mean, even, perfect. Even though you know it's lies. Mm. You know, ish. Yeah, I, I almost mean, believed you. Into the intelligent, is educated. All right. Yes. Clean, you know? clean, clean. So, right. we don't know if La Tonto does prefer you know the mm. son over the father i mean she was not going to say yes live on a you know but... for everyone to hear yeah see. so we don't know but what do you guys think let us know do you think she prefers to design a zuma or Mr. jacob zuma which one is it oh my word <laughs> all right guys so that was i'm i'm believing that's the end of our bum rush yes it is right definitely yes so um Here's what you can expect for the show, right? For this Tell hour, us. we have Queens of Our Lives because it's yes. Women Crush Wednesdays. Really looking forward to talking about that. Uh, today, our queen is Helen Joseph. Helen Joseph. I really thought we would have done her by now, but it's like, we haven't. Haven't. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Mm. She seems like such a such an obvious like yes. choice. But yes, that's our queen of our lives. And then we also have our women of the moment. Mm-hmm. This is where we all talk about um, the the woman that we think is crushing yeah. it right yeah. now. Yeah, who you celebrating at the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. for sure. And yes, that's gonna wrap up our first hour. Mm-hmm. Really, it's just the queens of our lives, and then we have our women at the moment. Mm-hmm. So without further ado. I think it's time to get into our queen of our lives. Definitely. Ms. Helen Joseph. Joseph. Oh, man. Do you, do you, are you like a, I'm going to be honest with you, right? Mm-hmm. So for a really long time, I just always assumed Helen Joseph was a black person. Oh, I think everyone Right? Like, yeah. I knew that, okay, she had something to do with the struggle. Yeah. But I think I only realized she was a white person when I got to, like, high school. Yeah, me too. When I started doing history, mm. I think grade 11, 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. I was like, oh, okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to read some information here mm-hmm. about Helen Joseph. Okay, so Helen Beatrice May Fennell was born in Eastbourne, United States Kingdom in 1905. She grew up in London with her parents and brother Frank. She graduated with a degree in English from the University of London in 1927. She then taught for three years in India at Mabubia, Mababia Mabubia School, uh, a school for girls in Hyderabad. 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 Damn, these words, don't. <laughs> Mm. She then came to live in Durban, South Africa in 1930, where she met and married dentist Billy Joseph. Her service as an information and welfare officer in the Women's Auxiliary Air Force during the Second World War and her subsequent decision to become a social worker exposed her to some of the realities of South African life. That is crazy Mm. because um, a lot of the time... Especially when you read up on on freedom fighters or activists uh, during the struggle, yeah, during slavery, where like white people were generally just living their lives, mm. ignorant. Life was good to them; they weren't worried about it. Yeah, but it's yeah. always something that kind of triggers that, like, oh my god, yeah. I can't believe this is happening. They they usually have a moment where they realize, whoa, yeah. this is really bad. Then they want to change something about yes. it. They want to do something about it. Exactly. Um. So. With her, she was a she was a social worker. Yeah. And so that exposed her to what was going on in South Africa at the time and that I'm glad that she kind of took it in 
acknowledge it yeah. and try to make a change. So after the war, she took a job with the Garment Workers Union, which is also the GWU, and came under the influence of Sonny Sachs, Johanna Cornelius, and Anna Shippers. Helen was a founder member was a founder member of the African National Congress, which is also known as the ANC. Um, White Alley, the Congress of Democrats (COD) and National Secretary of Federation of South African Women, which is the Fed. So, in the 1950s, in 1955, she was once um, she was one of the leaders who read out the clauses of the Freedom Charter at the Congress of the People. The Women's March on 9th of August, 1956 six was one of the most memorable moments of her, illustri- her illustrious political career as she was one of the main organizers of the protest mm. damn yeah so she this is oh they, she was within. in yeah. within within Pagati, Paga, inside inside i love hearing about women like this mm. who are literally in the forefront yeah, of forefront. the fight like mm. Love it. I respect that 100%. Um, Arrested on a charge of high treason in December 1956 and banned in 1957, Helen's life became a long saga of police persecution. She She was the first person to be placed under house arrest in 1962 and she survived several assassination attempts, including bullets shot through her bedroom window late at night and a bomb wired to her front gate. Yo! So you're sleeping, and it's just pa 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 shots <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> just staring, basically. Yay! Shots fired. I love it. Wow. Well, actually, I don't love it because that's terrible. No, it, um, is. it was yeah, but yeah, it's just staring, and I appreciate that shoot. Yeah. Just the vibe the shots. Yeah. Because mm. do you know, like in that time. An activist would have to be such a huge threat to the system yeah. in order for them to even care about shooting mm. them up or bombing them. So she was that So she big. was probably that influential. Mm. Um, Joseph was diagnosed with cancer in 1971 and her banning orders were lifted for a short time before being reinstated for two years in 1980. Joseph passed away on the 25th of December 1992 in Johannesburg. Helen Joseph was awarded the ANC's highest award, the Isitwalan. 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 Isitwalande Medal for her devotion to the liberation struggle as a symbol of defiance, integrity, and courage. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, wow. So, CEO, like, how do you feel about Helen Joseph, right? Like, having heard the fact that, like, she was in a part of it, like, she was an actual fighter to the point where the government at the time felt this one is a threat. Yeah. We, we need to bomb her. We need to shoot her. Make sure, like, we need to take her out. Like, how do you feel? Share yeah, definitely her. shout out to her because she's she stood up for women. Yeah, you know, she was part of the Women's March, 9th August, um, in 1956. She was there in the forefront. She was mm. within. She wanted women to have, not even women, just the country itself, yeah, to have a change and to be better. You know, she decided to, to live her personal life and a private life yeah. and to fight and for fight. The people in South Africa. So, shout out to her, definitely. And you know, the crazy thing too is it's... People get so... Um, I don't know, when white people are a part of, of, of like the struggle yeah. or a part of the fight against systems like this, it's so crazy because for me it just it further amplifies how important it is for white people to fight for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, in a system where they are benefiting, they are literally basically the only not the only, but it's it's almost their responsibility to demolish that mm. system. You know, I saw this video, I don't know when it was, when um Oh, actually, it was the you know that puppet guy that Tato was playing at the beginning of the, of the show. That was the first time. Yeah. Okay. So there was another one that um, he showed me on Sunday, and this guy was just saying it's up to white people to make sure that systems like this are okay. demolished. Mm-hmm. You can't make it the responsibility of black, black people, people to destroy okay. a system that they didn't build. True. Make you know sense. what I mean? Mm. And so that's why I think it's it's really important to speak about people like this because I don't know, maybe it could influence 
the white people yeah. or make them realize that look what you're doing is wrong it's make a wrong change and you have to have like we can't be fighting yeah anymore. you know mm-hmm. um so yeah i really like the fact that we've taken the time to just acknowledge Helen Joseph. She's obviously been a very influential person yeah. and an integral part of South Africa's growth, South, South Africa's evolution. Um, so yes, I really hope you guys learned something. If you really want to be a part of the discussion, hit us up on our social media. Uh, CEO, what are our social media? You guys can find us on Twitter. It's I Love Marvel. You can find us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I Love Marvel. On YouTube, I love Marvel Space, and our WhatsApp number is 0660013429. Hey, hello. So, guys, the time it's the bottom of the hour. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. I time know, for the news. Time for the news. You know what I was gonna say? What? Your nose is so red. Is it? Yeah. Oh, no. I think it's because it's cold. I push you, shoo. It's hot. I'm sweating. Look at my hands. But outside. Can the camera see my yeah, hand? Your hand is dripping. It's wet. I'm dripping. It's hot in oh here. Oh my god! This one is really The aircon is not working. It's not working. It's on, but it's not working. It's not working. Don't complain about the aircon. Demand, guys. The guys. <laughs> but let's get the news. Let's get the news. It's top of the hour. Time for news on I Love Marvel dot live. Good morning, everybody. The time now is 10.31. This is Asona Andaliso with your news headlines. ENCA reports that billion of years, billions rather, of years ago, Mars was home to lakes and oceans. But where all the water went to transform the planet into the desolate rock we know today has been something of a mystery. And in other news, um, reported to you by E! Online, David Dobrik's former assistant and current Vlog Squad member, Natalie addresses the allegation against the group um, for the first time. Sure. I'm going to elaborate on all of that at the top the of the hour in the next hour. But for now, I'm going to pass over to your sp- sports bulletin with Siomali. Bring you all the sporting news. This is sports on Live. I think the time is 32 minutes past 10. It is the 24th of March 2021. I am Sia Mali with the Sports Bulletin. In rugby news, British and Ireland uh, Lions Tour into South Africa is on. Here are five things you need to know. Tuesday's announcement that this year's British and Irish Lions Tour to South Africa is set to go ahead as planned. Seems like fantastic news on the surface, but there is still a, there is still a lot that remains uncertain. As recently as a week ago, it looked as if the UK was poised to the host to, to host the tour with South Africa, having only received, recently started its vaccination rollouts to combat the coronavirus pandemic. The latest development, however, confirms that a European-based series is no longer on the table and this series is going to happen in South Africa. Here we look at some of the major talking points that have emerged since Tuesday's announcement. Original schedule is subject to review. The British Alliance are due to take on the Stormers at Cape Town Stadium on July 3rd in what will be the first match of their tour. In addition to the three test matches against the Springboks from 27th July to 7th August, the Lions are due to play five other matches against various South African opposition for a total of eight matches. Secondly, will fans be allowed in stadiums? This really is the question in everyone's minds now that the tour has been confirmed for South Africa and at this stage there is no clear answer. SA Rugby and its president, Mark Alexandra, are working extremely closely with government and making every effort to secure live attendance for the matches. But it looks like a long shot given how slowly the country is moving with this vaccination rollout and considering that, that the third wave of the pandemic is expected over winter. Thirdly, what if I've bought tickets already and that my match is scrapped or no fans are allowed? Anyone who has purchased tickets already through the Bola system will be fully refunded if they are not allowed to attend the match. The same applies to any spectators who have purchased SA Rugby travel packages for the tour. Fourthly, what happens if the tour can't go on this year? If the tour happens behind closed doors, it will still be lucrative for broadcast deals, advertising and sponsorship perspective. SA Rugby and the South African economy, however, will lose millions without the influx of foreign and local spend in terms of spectators. Then lastly... That is, this decision comes from the Lions as much as SA Rugby. While the tour is a joint commercial venture between SA Rugby and the British Lions, the decision not to play in UK was very clear one that came from the Lions. That part of the world has its own serious coronavirus problems and there was no guarantee that the fans would be allowed into the stadiums either. 
in soccer news, Bafana is so happy with the club country communication that allowed him to return for crucial clash. Bafana Bafana forward Percy Dawu said the excellent communication between his club and the national team allowed him to come home for the important 2021 AFCON Group C qualifier against Ghana on Tuesday. Dawu has been a, cr- a critical part with Bafana scoring in both wins against South Ome and Principal. Moves by European clubs to block African players from representing their national teams has affected a number of African teams. Thank you, those for sports bulletin with me, Sio Lisa Mali, and the news headlines with the Thunder Miss. But now, back to the Marvel Rush. Yeah, back to the Marvel Rush. Oh, man. So, um, I have a question, mm-hmm. right? So, and like, this is like a general question to everyone out there because I don't follow sports that much. Okay. Right? And I'm just curious, what does everyone think about CEO Felici joining the Sharks. Mm-hmm. Um, he's moving from Western Province, and actually, there were there were there was word earlier on in the year that he was like he would rather pay his current club now, like the money that that they're whatever. He'd yeah. rather pay them. Um, I guess the what is it called? The difference, mm-hmm. right? Then stay for the for the season. Like he wants. So he was out. not happy with the Western Province. I guess not, but I'm actually like gonna look into that because I was actually really curious about it. Mm. He's been there for quite a while. Quite a so while. So I wonder what happened, guys. I don't follow sports, uh, but if you do, please let us know um, on our comments, mm. our, our social Tell media. Us. Is- Yes, we're live right now on Twitter, Alamalvo L, and Facebook, Alamalvo Live. Really need to know, guys. I'm really we curious. We need to know. We need to know why is Sia Khaleesi leaving the Western Province? Why is he going to the Sharks? What is the yeah, leave? What is yeah. the war that is happening? Because I'm a fan of Sia Khaleesi, mm. so I would love to know what is happening. Yeah. We should Google it. Right. We should. Yes, we will. We will. We'll do that during the break. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that was the news headlines and the sports bulletin with Esan Andaliso and Sio Mali. We're going to go into our next feature, and mm-hmm. that is Women of the Moment. Yes. So we sat down yesterday and spoke about um, a feature that we could add today in today's show where we talk about a woman that we each think is killing it right it's now. Killing it, yeah. And deserves the props, deserves the shout out um, on our show. And we're going to discuss it and talk why did we, why did we choose this person? Yeah, yeah. You know, for me, I have Tando Tibete. Mm-hmm. Uh, who do you have, Sio? I've got Sia Bunny. Sia, Sia Bunny. Yes. Okay, okay, yes, okay. Yes. Um, but before we get into that, we're going to go into a music break. We're going to be playing Stephanie Cook, our very own Stephanie Cook, um, called Tell Me. Right? Tell featuring, me now. Tell, tell me, me, tell me. me. Featuring hey. Jay Marcus. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is Stephanie Cook. Let's Check get well. it. Tell me again. Man, tell me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sabawel. Hey, my told. My told. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. I always say this. This song makes me feel so sad. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. I think you say it every day. I say it every day because we play it every day. It yeah. makes me feel single. It's such a. <laughs> It's so cute. It is. When was the last time we went to the park with your man? Summerwell. Hey, you man. Which one? I don't have one. (gasps) I get it. Those loves. I get it. I get it. I get it. That is not needed. Then it's not. Oh my gosh. Yes. Anyway, guys, welcome back to the Marvel Rush. You are here with your girl ESO and A Baby. I'm not alone. I'm here with C. Cash. And we are talking Women Crush Wednesdays today and for this hour we're actually going to be mentioning some of the women that we think deserve some props. Yeah, yeah. Women who are crushing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I said I have Tana Tibete, when I, you said you have Sia Bani. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are yeah. you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm ready. I hope I <laughs> so, um, so yeah, who, who wants to go first? Should I go first? Yeah. Go first. Okay, it. cool. So guys, I don't know if you guys know this, mm-hmm. um, but this 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 beautiful woman named Tando Tebete, you know, she's a she's an actress, she's a radio personality, you know. I think she's also um, she, she had a reality show even, and this she's one. also on TLC called Tando Bears All. Oh, you, when you say reality, I'm thinking like her life. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I know the show. Yeah. You know the show, right? Yeah. Yes. So, um, and she's also in Nibia's. Nibia's first brand ambassador in Africa. Oh, wow. Yes. Shout out, Tando. In 2019, Tando was 
named one of Forbes Africa's 30 under 30. That's a huge deal. Wow. That means like the top 30 people that Forbes has decided is influential and you're under the age of 30. I'm she made it a higher mm. That is wild. And I think that's so important to like think of. Because yeah. a lot of the time when people talk about like influential women in South Africa, we're always talking like I was nah, yes. like, which listen, she's the queen. No, she is. She's she the queen, queen. For sure. You know? But I don't think we talk about her enough. Yeah, you know? No, and um often especially, you know, her previous video show uh, by the thing, right? mm-hmm. So they fired her, yes. which is really sketchy. And when they did that, I remember they issued a statement and they were like, it was kind of like a mutual agreement or something. And mm-hmm. Hando lost her mind, dog. She's not even a problematic celebrity yeah, or anything like not. that. But that you don't hear anything. Her mind. She's like, uh, no, you guys fired, fired me. me. And you didn't even tell me why, mm. dog. Imagine firing I wonder what her. happened. And not telling her why. Mm. And it's not like she had a... Like, she wasn't doing a bad job. I don't... What was that? I don't know. I I, I, I never listened to the show. Oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. And people who listened would tell us if... If she was doing a bad job. Guys, don't come on. I mean, maybe... I mean... Maybe she was doing a good job. Maybe she is a good presenter. Maybe she's not problematic. She's there on time. She does everything she needs to do. But maybe yeah. the numbers weren't there. Maybe the numbers weren't there. Maybe they were dropping. So they were like, I just bye bye. I don't know. I'm telling. Be like, listen, you're great. Just unfortunately, right now, are they going like this? The numbers are not. They're not. I'm sorry. They're not. You know what I mean? Like, they're no not. hard feelings or <laughs> <laughs> personal. Because obviously now she would have taken it personal. Yeah. Right? Like you're just gonna fire me and not tell me why. Mm. Especially when she did she did that Steve Harvey interview. Mm. That's a huge person to have Yo. on your show. But the numbers, but numbers, the numbers speak. Numbers. numbers speak. I'm gonna call to Tato <laughs> Numbers talk, guys. Numbers talk. Numbers talk, guys. How many numbers are you bringing into the station? Yes. Like, let's start these. <laughs> Yeah. But yes, guys, that was my woman of the moment. I think she's doing an incredible job. She I'm is. really rooting for her. I'm really excited that mm. she's joining um the nine for seven. Yeah, yeah. Get that white money. That white, Get it. That white paycheck. Guys, nine for seven doesn't pay. Like, white people pay. Mm. So I'm really excited for that. Because that it hasn't started. Um no 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 no. Oh, it hasn't started right here. Hasn't. Mm. Um but yes, uh that also means that the two big shows on that station are going to be driven by black women. Black women. And then let in the morning. Hey. Tell her to have time in the afternoon. Hey. Love it. Hey. Love it. And I love Anneli. I hate to say love it. Yeah. I, just, I love that team. Right? And I think that's the team she took from the drive when she was still driving. Oh, she also did the drive. Stuff. Yes, when mm. we were still high on stereo. Mm. When Black Kid Simpson um, was doing the picture show. Yeah. Um, she was doing the drive. So I think that's the same crew. Same I stand crew. to be corrected, but yes, it's an amazing crew. I love oh, wow. it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love mm. the content as well. Yeah. So really, shout out to Tando today to shout out such Tando. a huge opportunity. Five of them doesn't deserve you, but you know what, dog? You're getting paid more money. Yeah. So, I loved her on the Netflix thing. Um, how to ruin Christmas. Oh my god. The wedding. I loved it. I loved it. But she's so ugly when she cries. But... <laughs> You're terrible. My mom said, my mom said, I can't. Have you seen me cry? No. Have Please you seen me like, cry? I'm just like, I'm like, you cry. You know, people. Yeah. I'm like that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm lying. You're like, I cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're sure it's just words. That movie was amazing. Yeah, it, it was. was. It's actually my favorite local mm-hmm. show that Netflix has. Like, Yes. It was amazing. It was amazing. I love the chaos. But she's good in time. Yeah, she's yeah, good. She's Especially good. on Housekeepers. Housekeepers. Season one. Season one. Because I didn't watch season two. Oh. I didn't like season two. But season one. Yeah. Yeah. For she's me, good. I just I just support her because it's her. Mm. Like she's not bothering anyone. She's, she's not. Doing a good job. Yeah. And so I love I love celebrities like that. Mm-hmm. So that was my woman of the moment. Um, I don't know if you agree. If you agree, let us know in the comments. If you tell don't, us. tell us. I'll swear at you. I'll swear at you on live, like on air. But you can tell us. Be free to do that. Issues. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm like the sweetest person ever. 
Um, let us know in our comments. Let us know on our social media on Twitter. We're Isla Mobile. Our Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We're Isla Mobile. Live. If you want to follow us and check us, um, and check some of our previous shows. You can catch you can catch them on YouTube. Yeah, we're really trying to push some more followers there as well. So please follow us on YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe. actually subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. To subscribe. They must tell their friends. They must tell their neighbors. Tell just tell everyone to subscribe. Subscribe. And the notification bell as well. Notification. Yes. Share. Yeah. Comment. Like. Everything. Go and get. Please. Everyone on YouTube, I love Marvel Space Line. Mm-hmm. Our WhatsApp number is zero six six zero one three four two two nine. There you have. So see, I'm gonna pass on to you yes. and let us know what is your woman of the moment mm-hmm. this Wednesday so morning. So this Wednesday morning, I'm crushing on Sia Bunny. She is a content creator, fashion, lifestyle, beauty, and travel. She's a digital brand strategist. In 2019, she was Glamour SA's most glamorous award winner. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Um, she's got 257,000 followers on Instagram. And the reason I'm crushing on her, she is pregnant. She is. She has a, a, a bun in the oven. She has a bun in the <laughs> oven in a bundle of joy, Ikea. In a bundle of joy. Please, I sent, I want to, I want, yes, there she is, you know. Oh, God. What is he? To bundle in a joy. I like it. 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 But you know, she's dropping a pregnancy. She looks amazing. And what I love is that when she revealed her pregnancy, she didn't post pictures of her in underwear or she was not, you know, mm. dressed or what like most of oh, the wow. celebrities do or people. And that's the one you might never <laughs> But you know, she was all in. She was in a black jumpsuit. She's rocking it. She's beautiful. She's glowing. Mm. So, congratulations, mommy, for the bun in the oven. I know a child is beautiful. She's rocking the pregnancy. Yes. Yes. Love it. Oh my gosh. So, what's, what's wrong with people? You mentioned pregnant people not getting dressed or posing in underwear. What's wrong with that? For me, in my opinion, I don't like it. I wouldn't do it. You don't like it? I feel like you should hide up. Because pregnancy is such a sensitive, sentimental oh, thing. Okay. You know, so if okay. you are going to pose, I mean, you can take the pictures and keep them in your home. You know, print them, frame them, whatever. Yeah. Make it your wallpaper, whatever you want to do. You know, but if you're going to post on Instagram, Twitter, Just for me. Yeah, cover up. Cover up. Okay. Yeah, cover okay. up. Yeah. But All right. I hear congratulations. you. Yes. I will anyone not... who's pregnant. Yeah. Congrats. Shine. 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 Open up a bottle of Shine. champagne and celebrate. I'm Shine. Go. Shine. 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 Non alcoholic. Yes. <laughs> when was the last time you had non alcoholic champagne? Yo, when I was 18. Really? For my birthday. Mm-hmm. I, I don't remember. For my birthday, when I was turned 18. Yeah, it can't have been long ago for me either. No. But yes, guys, so that's how we wrap up our Woman of the Moment. Yes. Let us know what your Woman of the Moment is on this beautiful Woman Crush Wednesday. Uh, we spoke earlier on about uh, Helen Tozer, someone who was an integral part of the struggle. She was a founding member of the ANC. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. She was an actual staring, a real life staring. Yes. This white woman helped so many black people mm-hmm. in the struggle, and she was part of the women's march. She was part of the women's march. Oh, oh my God! She was there at the union building. She was like, you know what? You are fed up. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was there. She was. She was there. <laughs> Have you been to the hospital, Helen Joseph? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever had to go to the oh, hospital. Okay. Do people just go there because it's like when you when you're sick, you go to the hospital? Oh, okay. I thought you, I thought like you were asking if like people go there as like because it's like a tourist attraction. No, 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 no. I know like people live, live around here. Yeah. Go there because it's like right here. Yeah. It's so the, I'm asking. I think it's the nearest hospital from here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. It is public hospital. Yeah. You know, I've never had to. I don't mm. go to the hospital very often. Okay. So, um, no, I haven't been there. But I've, I think I've driven, I've driven past it yeah. uh, a few times. So I know where it is. Mm. It's okay. But yeah, okay. um, that's 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 how we wrap up our Woman of the Moment. I spoke about Tano Tibete. Um, CEO gave a shout out to Ms. Sia Bunny, who's also pregnant. Congratulations. And then she also just 
clean the women who pose naked and pissed on this um, so CEO is problematic this morning. Johnny, <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, that's how we wrap up our first hour. Yes. You know, I really hope that you learned something about Helen Joseph. If there's extra information that you really want to share with us, let us know in the comment section. We're currently live on Twitter and on Facebook at the moment. Um, well, if you're watching, you know, you know, that we're. That'd be live. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> but yes, um, we, we were wrapping up um the first hour. We spoke Helen Joseph, we spoke Women Crush Wednesdays, we spoke Women of the Moment, we did the bum rush, we did the bum rush. Mm-hmm. So we're done with we're the first done. hour. What's happening in the second hour? What's happening in the second hour is we have the shrink shrew, right? Yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, I, I have three things to complain about. You have three things yes, to complain about. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. I still remember them. You don't remember the things you want to complain I'm about. I'm very forgetful. I didn't even tell. Because it's a one jazz. I remember two and then I got the one. You'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, oh, yes, no, I know. Oh, oh you good? Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to, we're going to, um, close off this hour yeah. we'll see you in the next hour we're gonna be playing out with i music no wahala let's get it let's get it. let's get it let's get it let's get it Show you that.